Further heightened at the internally displaced persons camp in Woga via northeast uh, local government area of a dual state following the dumping of a newborn baby by a uh, yet to be identified mother at the entrance of the camp. Speaking to journalists who visited the camp, coordinator of the camp, uh, Pastor Solomon Folonu Show reviewed that though the camp is known for giving to the needy over the years, this was the first time they had seen such at the camp. Around 11 a.m. on Friday, while all the children were, you know, in school and everything was just going on well, then the security, they, they were checking around and they saw a baby just close to our security post under the mango tree. Uh, they saw a baby and a uh, newborn baby, like a few hours old or one day old, you know, and then they went close and saw the baby sleeping with a note written. And the note says that uh, uh, I, I can't take care of this baby and uh, I don't want to kill the baby. So from now henceforth, the baby is your own. I've come to give you the baby. So we just thought around, what do we do? We are a registered uh, uh, charity, an NGO to care for the needy in the society. And uh, caring for children is one of our main uh, uh, trusts. So we felt, okay, let's take this baby in. And then we went to the police and to other relevant agencies. Uh, we're still in the process. So that's how we're here today. Uh, with this that happened of this nature, this is the first time. We've not had anybody drop a baby here. No, but we've had uh, other children who are a bit uh, older than this one that are displaced or rather orphans that we've been taking care of for many years. So, But having to come and drop a baby just by our doorstep this is the first experience we are having. Yes. We love to keep the baby. We, we want to keep the baby. We want to train the child. We want to see this child grow. We want to make something out of the child. This woman, uh, whoever she is, had approached us and said, I can take care of this child, maybe this is what my condition. We have done it for many people. What we would have done is, okay, this child needs to be breastfed uh, fed, and so can we just probably get you a room somewhere or stay in our center, and then we draw kind of sympathy, uh, people coming to support her to train the child. That's what we would have done. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.